And comments. I guess a commentar, the honourable member for Battle River Crowfoot. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and uh, appreciate the opportunity to ask uh, my colleague a question regarding the interplay of, uh, of public and private data in, in agricultural circumstances. I know the, the, one of the challenges that I see with this bill is, is the disparity that exists between urban and rural Canada, and I'd be curious if, uh, if uh, my friend has, uh, has considered the, the aspects of the bill that, uh, specifically the private and public data that's used in, in modern, modern agriculture, the small and medium-sized enterprises associated with, with uh, the developing industry of our egg producers. The Honourable Member for Peace River Westlock. Well, thank you, uh, Mr. Ch Chair, for that uh, question. Through you to the member for that question. Um, around uh, agriculture and data, that is a growing um, area of, of expertise. I, I would just point out that um, if you go to your John Deere dealership today, one of the things that you see there is a, uh, is a dirt probe. Um, you used to think that John Deere sold tractors. Today they sell uh, a moisture probe with a weather station on top of it. Um, and, that, and they will set that up in your field and you will be getting um, via satellite, via your cell phone, you will be getting real-time information about your soil conditions, your soil uh, nutrients, and the weather conditions of your fields, which might be scattered around the country. And um, Martin Deerline, the John Deere dealer in my area, um, they have a whole suite of uh, these data collection agencies and you pay uh, a particular uh, monthly fee for that service, um, where that where that data goes and how that data is all managed, uh, I'm sure is covered by this bill, and and I look forward to to hearing from them at committee. Thank you.